Hey guys, it is Stevie here, and today I wanted to show you some of the new goodies that I picked up from Barnes & Noble. These are primarily used as kind of my creativity, inspiration, and tools in my journaling. So yeah, I just want to go ahead and show you guys what I got. So one of my favorite things is this little notepad here that says creativity takes courage. It takes a lot for me to buy a notebook these days just because I have so many already and I don't really need any more. But I saw this one and I had to have it. The back is really, really beautiful. I think I paid maybe five or six dollars for this, so it was actually quite reasonable um, considering that a lot of the notebooks at um, Bards and Noble that were a similar size and setup were about ten dollars. So I saw this and I had to have it. I don't know if it was on clearance or what it was, but when they did a price check, it came out to like six dollars. So I was really happy with this. So on the inside are just these beautiful watercolor painting styled um, images, and it's just really pretty, very inspirational. I've already used a couple of the sheets from this, so this is definitely something that I'm, I'm really excited about. The paper is a little bit thin, but that's not really, it's not terrible, and I didn't really get it to do anything too crazy, so goodbye. If you can find it, I would definitely grab this. Okay. I don't even know where to start on this. Um, I will do an unboxing on this. It'll probably be like a short five minute video, but this is the Flow Mix and Match Paper Goodies. And it says it has 65 items in it. And you look at it and you think, wow, that's quite a nice mix and match of different things. There are tags, there's a little banner, there's a notepad in there or I'm sorry, a little insert in there. There are some stickers. It just seems like a really awesome package of goodies. And then you see the price. This was $24.99. So I don't know if that is worth the money because that is quite the splurge. Considering that the big flow paper book that I absolutely adore, I think that was about $30. And it was four times, five times this size. and filled with even more stuff. So for me, I had a very hard time justifying the $24.99, but I decided to open it. If I don't like it, lesson learned, won't do it again, but I definitely at least wanted to check it out. So I will open that um, probably after this video. That's the next one I'll film. Okay, sorry, I got a call in the middle of that. So the next video I will film will be me opening this package and um, seeing if it's worth the money. I highly doubt it. I'm already like, why did I buy this? But I will let you guys know what I think as I open it. Let's move on to the next item. So this is another flow book. I actually got this a couple weeks ago. Um, it was $20, which it still looks like it has so much more than that one. But this is the Flow Sketchbook. So this has lessons on how to draw and DIY. And on my Instagram, you guys saw me attempt to draw a teacup um, from right here. It kind of shows you. I did it on my own notebook, so that way I didn't waste any of the paper in here. But it kind of gives you basics on how to draw a pretty little um, Peter Pan style collar. So pretty, I absolutely love these. And once I teach myself, I will actually be cutting these out and using them for journaling. Teaches you how to draw a lamp. Um, it is really pricey, this was $20. But even for this, I find it easier to justify than $25 for the other item. But it teaches you how to draw a house. It has this little cutout, I'm sorry, this little tip-in type thing with a house. And um, I just, overall, I think this is a much better deal. But I can't say that for sure because I haven't even opened the other one. Um, but I do like this and I'm really excited because I've already started playing with it. Teaches you how to draw a little camper. I mean, I just think this is really a cute concept. So 
we shall see. I don't know what these little things are in here. They're little postcards, like scalloped postcards, it looks like. Oh, that's cute. They're blank, so that way I can paint and draw and send out postcards. That's adorable. I have a couple of friends who might enjoy that. This is not going back in without a fight, so I'm just going to place it in there. So this next one is my favorite magazine probably of all time. This is my absolute holy grail magazine. Um, it's Artful Blogging. I love this because I love photography. Photography is such a huge passion for me and I'm not great at it, but I love it. I love looking at beautiful pictures. I love trying to take beautiful pictures. I love this. I feel like everything is so clean and white and beautiful and crisp and every artful blogging magazine I have wanted to take pictures out and cut them out and use them but they're so absolutely beautiful and I actually read the articles because they have amazing tips for how to get special like different effects that you want you can learn how to um, kind of focus in on one object and blur out the background and if you want to blur the foreground and make something sharp in the background, like you can do it. It shows you how to do it. So for me, I think this magazine is just perfection. Everything is beautiful. I love these images. I won't go through the whole thing, but for me, this one is completely worth every single penny. Um, how much was this? Probably about 15. No, that's just an advertisement. It is $15. It's $14.99, worth every single penny. I get these every time they come out, and they come out every three months. This is the August through October. On August 1st, I was at Barnes & Noble looking for these on August 1st because I knew it would be out, and I was so excited about it. The final thing that I got was Daphne's Diary. Normally, I don't get Daphne's Diary because it's a little bit too cartoony and just a little bit too kitschy for me, but they are a really great price. This was $14.50, and this one actually had a lot of stuff that I was interested in. I think that it, it just depends on your taste, and I really love the tags here. I would cut these out, and I would put them right into my journal as tippins. Here, you cut these out, and you can make them into boxes. I really, really, really like this. This is another basically a paper book. So everything in here is paper um, and how to do fun stuff with paper. Obviously, it's all paper. Anyways, I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. And I really, really, really love this. And this one has stickers in it. It has a little, yeah, a little notebook, like a travel journal in here, which is so pretty. Um, yeah, I think this is really beautiful and I'm really excited. This is the first one that I actually decided to buy and Look at how beautiful I'm gonna cut. I know the first thing I will cut out of this is this beautiful little parrot like a bird pattern down here and Yeah, I think this is beautiful So 1450 Let's move that pen out of the way. By the way, this pen that I have right here, this was inside of my recent box from Happy Scrappy. This was the newest Happy Scrappy pen. So love that, super cute. So here are the goodies. Make sure that you check everything out. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I will try and link everything below. But I will be back with another video soon. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.